Welcome to Collapse. This is the kind of game which I've been waiting for a while. Which also already exist, exists on Steam, of course. But that's not the reason why I couldn't actually play it. Uh, I actually have a bad computer, so... What I actually want to play this game is because it's kind of based on a true story. If anyone has heard about the Atlo Pass incident which happened in um, 1995, 2nd February. I mean 1959. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing. It's gonna tell a little bit details about it. So you get to hear what it is about. So let's jump into it, shall we? Yeah, I only seen the start of it, so I wanted to make sure this is worth it. So I can only say one thing. I won't be playing one of those people where a part of the incident, but it's like this is kind of a different point of view you get to learn something about that mountain because something actually happened in real life back in 1959 based on true story fifty six years, years ago, ago Russia, Russia the northern, northern Ural mountains, mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakal. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche, or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered, deep under the snow. Okay, so now we start. So actually, no... Oh. Beautiful. So I actually know about this incident. Because I've been reading about this before and I'm the kind of guy who likes to uh, see many disturbing documentary about death or unexplainable things. Wow, there's no people around there. So I guess it's abandoned or something. 
Uh, as I said, I actually watched documentary about criminal life and such, and I know many other criminals have done disturbing things in their life. Let's see. I get the feeling I'm supposed to go to the mountain itself. It's quite beautiful. <sighs> quite windy. I like it so far. But uh, what I'm actually uh, expecting to see now is to maybe find out the truth or just kind of theory what actually could happen I don't know I haven't even watched this game before only thing I know about there was a game that comes out on Steam and I was like why on Steam because my computer can't even run really good games oh the mission change and a different location so I was kind of happy when I saw I could actually pre-order this game on PS4. So... Trust me, I actually love winter and everything, but... I don't like the creepiness. If I like winter, I mostly like it when I'm actually... Um, is that a person? Oh, it's not a person. It, it looks like a person. It's my bad. Um, I don't mind when it snows in town, but if I'm out outside the forest, I actually like being there only in the daylight, but nighttime, there's no way I will stay around nighttime. Am I even going the right way? Uh, I wonder if I got lost. Hmm. It's like heading the back. I think I came from there, but... Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to go here. My bad. <sighs> Whoa! Uh, don't play such sound. I get uncomfortable. Oh, I feel so uncomfortable. Oh, please don't let me feel jump scare. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, disturbing sounds. Okay. I feel really, really uncomfortable right now. Thank you, video game. <laughs> oh, it feels so uncomfortable. I can't shake the feeling like something is right behind me and... Oh, I hate those sounds. It's like builds up paranoia inside my mind. <laughs> what happened? In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. What? An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. What? I felt it tearing out of my soul. Okay. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Uh, oh, I don't like it. What if something poops up in front of my face? Am I looking for something? Am I even going the right way? Oh, uh, there's so much snow. It's like a huge snowstorm here. Oh, please don't let it be some jump scare. Am I even going the right way? Mm. I 
I'm so sorry if the video only shows like pure pitch white screen or something if you can see the ground. I'm actually walking. But I don't see anything. It's like a huge ass snowstorm or something. Mm, am I going the right direction? Did I turn too much or... <sighs> I feel like I'm lost. Well, my footprints are here. <sighs> Where is it? Is that break the game or something? Am I supposed to look for something? Am I supposed to look down on the ground? like this out like something is about to happen I don't want it to uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do I keep walking around like in a circle or endless Thing. Or am I walking the wrong direction or something? I can't keep my eyes attracted. Whoa, it changed totally something. Oh. Wait, I heard something. I heard a bell. Like, it comes from here. I heard a. I heard. Oh, it's right in front of me. I hear it. Ding, ding, ding. I'm not sure if you can hear it because of the sound. It's like right in front of me or something. It's stronger. Whoa, something is there. Is this one of the people's tent? Like in the story? I don't know. But something is here. Too sad. I am right behind you. <sighs> don't even say such thing. Whoa. This is creepy. Jesus, this game is kind of creepy. The start started so smooth until I get to some creepy forest and creepy sounds. I can't handle sounds. If there's some like great atmosphere and really creepy sounds, I can't handle it. I get so uncomfortable. But it's like games like this that make me want to go forward because I want to find out the truth. I want to know exactly what's going on. <sighs> I feel so uncomfortable because I'm playing a game late, almost like 11 p.m. and it's almost like bedtime for me and such. But I will still keep trying because I want to give this game a chance. Because I know the story so well. It's still not solved today because. Oh. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity when others convince you? subject, an object, which they can bend into their will. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment, when you could really not remember your sins, when they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is that in their dark, This looks like barefoot from the students who actually fled. Oh, oh this is so creepy. <laughs> Can I hide inside the tent? I oh, it's a tent. Oh, okay, what that noise? Stop it, please. Ah! What? Did I press something? 
Okay, I, I'm getting creeped out. Stop with the serious music. Can I just go in the tent? Can I just lay there? Oh, okay. Okay, I am totally freaked out. Oh. Such creepy stuff. It's nice details though. But all the sounds are so creepy and just. Oh. Don't make those terrible sounds. Uh. Oh, this literally actually terrifies me. Oh. Stop making that sound. I don't like it. What is this? I set, I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometre and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 metres and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Okay, and... Oh! What is this? Oh my god! Ah, no, 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 no! Ah! There's another one. Oh my! Oh. Oh. oh, it's it's like playing Omnisha all over again, almost. But it's like the back of your neck. You can actually feel it. I guess I'm supposed to follow each one of them or something. I have no idea. Mm. Oh, I'm so freaked out. I just need one moment, okay? Just one moment. I have a little bit mana power right now. So, I'm gonna see if I can get through. Oh, I hate... <gasps> <laughs> it that kind of scared me. Oh. <sighs> okay, but oh, what is happening? Oh, oh, lag. Game lag. Oh, holy fucking tits! <gasps> what is this sound? Oh, stop it, please. Stop it! <laughs> okay, okay, fuck this. 
fuck this? I don't even like Oh, I hate the sound of this. <gasps> oh, just a tree, just a tree. <gasps> What's in the sound? Just sound effect. Just silly sound effects. Just sound effect. Just sound effect. No, just sound effect. Okay. <gasps> Shut up, please. It makes me so uncomfortable. I don't even like it. Just so uncomfortable. I'm gonna snuggle up with my fox plush because I don't even like this. I'm dead serious. I'm not even enjoying this. It's way more terrifying. God, my heart feels so uneasy. <laughs> okay, okay. What is that sound? There's something glowing. Okay. What is this? A paper? It's in Russian. Oh, hold up. I'll just stop. I don't like it. It's like 11 25 p.m. It's like really late. I don't like it, okay? So please stop. I feel so uncomfortable. <gasps> Are you warm, sir? Oh, my heart. Oh, I. I I can't focus. I, I'm so. <gasps> it's like my whole mind is building up with paranoia. And I hate it so much. Just go here, okay? <sighs> As long as the sound stops. Can I even mute it? If I was playing this in daylight, <gasps> oh shut up! Oh, it's so terrifying. This is what I don't like. <gasps> Cause what? What is that sound? Oh god. <gasps> oh, it's like my entire body feels like it's too much. <sighs> oh god. <gasps> I can't handle it. <sighs> I need a break. I can't. Jesus Christ. If it didn't have those sound effects, and then I would feel much better. Just too much, you know. You know, I. I'm really sensitive to sound. If I see something, 
And then I'm like, okay. I get scared once or two times, but if I hear sounds that this disturbing, I can't tell it. It's like too much. Sorry if I'm not talking, I don't feel well, but I feel like really sick from this. I'm just gonna put in the description that this should not be watched at really late night because... I can't. <laughs> Fuck this game. I need a break. I'm not ever gonna play this at late time. Just forget it. I hate it. I wanted to know the whole game story. I can't just finish it right now. I'm just gonna stop right there. Continue next time when it's not too late. It's like freaking dark outside. These sounds make me so paranoid. I have no idea what to expect. I want to play this so badly, but at late time, my heart just starts to raise. My whole body feels like I'm freaked out. So I'm just gonna stop right there. I'm so sorry. I will try and. Oh, fuck. Ow, my heart. <sighs> Okay, this was maybe too much for me. <sighs> so, I will try next time when it's not too dark outside. Okay? Okay, I'll see you in the next video. If there is gonna be, we'll see because this was way too much for me to expect the true horror. Okay. See you in the next video.